Today I'm using Molly's Creature Creator Sitting Down Mold. This comes in a set with a couple of tutorials and a basic user guide. I also have the brand new Molly's Creature Creator Feet. This one is made for the sitting down mold and again will come with a tutorial. We're going to start by baking the cake. Grease the mold thoroughly with butter or margarine. Now sprinkle over a small amount of flour in order to prevent the cake batter from sticking. Here I have made my classic Victoria sponge recipe which makes the perfect amount for these moulds. I shall leave a link to that for you in the description below this video. You want to place this in the oven at 170 degrees centigrade for approximately 50 minutes. When the cake is baked and whilst it is still warm, carefully trim off the top. Not much of this cake will do if you have followed the recipe correctly. I then simply turning, turn it out onto a cooling rack and allow the cake to completely cool before we start decorating. Once the cakes have cooled, you need to add a filling of your choice. Now for the purpose of this tutorial, I am not adding a thick layer of filling, but you can add as much as you want. For this particular buttercream recipe, again, I will leave a link for that for you in the description below this video. Simply fill the centre, place the two halves together and then crumb coat the whole of the cake. Crumb coating is just a process where we cover the outer side of the cake. This then acts like a glue when we add fondant, but it will also protect your sponge from the air. You can either use buttercream or ganache. Taking the Creature Creator feet, we now want to add this to the cake drum by simply placing on the two sticky pads just directly underneath the feet. Place this directly onto the cake drum, push it down so it's very well placed on there and then simply remove the top half of the Creature Creator feet. This will allow us to cover this drum with fondant neatly. Simply drape over your rolled out fondant, the colour of your choice, cut off any excess Smooth this out and then you just want to replace on the Creature Creator feet and make sure they are securely in place. Taking your refrigerated cakes and place some buttercream on the base and add this to the Creature Creator feet support. Using a small amount of leftover buttercream, I then fill in any gaps and make sure it is smooth. You want to now roll out about 500 gram of red fondant. Make sure you've added some water to the Creature Creator feet around the base to act like a glue. And then simply pick up this fondant and drape it directly onto the cake. We are going to be using a panelling technique, so you want to cover the front of the cake first and then we will repeat this process for the back. Use your hands to get it in the correct position, smooth it out, cut away any excess fondant and try to keep the lines very, very straight. It will just help when you add the other piece of fondant to the back of the cake. I then use some flexible cake smoothies by Squire's Kitchen to just smooth this out. You simply repeat that process, but this time for the back of the cake, I shall speed this up just so that you can see it all come together. Using about 400 gram of rolled out black fondant, I haven't used much at all here. You don't want to roll out too much. Gently drape this over the head and negotiate those pleats and cut off any excess fondant. In order to paint on such neat black stripes, I used a cocktail stick first to place indentations directly onto the fondant, just so I have a line to paint over. All I have used here is Rainbow Dust Black Food Gel 
mixed with a very small amount of alcohol or you can use cooled down boiled water. If you use water, just bear in mind it will take longer to dry. Simply paint all of the cake and then we will, we will be applying Bing's arms. To support the arms, start by placing a cake dowel directly through the cake. All you need to do now is roll out a very basic cone shape with the same red fondant that you've used for the body and place it directly onto each cake dowel. Make sure some of the cake dowel is still exposed for Bing's hands. Now add some edible glue just to the end of the arm. Take a small amount of black fondant and then you can see just how I shape it with my hands in this footage. I then use a cocktail stick just to place those indentations for Bing's fingers. All we need to do now is paint both arms. So again, I use a cocktail stick as you can see here just to place in some indentations and then I go over this with the same black edible paint that I did for the bodywork. In order to make the ears I'm making some homemade modeling paste. For this you will need some tylo powder and 250 gram of black fondant. Simply add one level teaspoon of tylo powder to your fondant and knead this in and voila you've got your own homemade modeling paste so for the ears again very simple shapes just balls of fondant here i've got a ball of black modeling paste which i literally use my hands push down and shape into an ear like shape the rolling pin just gives it more of an oval shape i try and keep them identical and then place some cocktail sticks just underneath. For the brown, again, a very small piece of fondant this time, just rolled into an oval shape and placed directly onto the ear. You don't have to make this complicated. You don't always need templates. Simple shapes can work perfectly. Using a small amount of edible glue, simply add your ears directly to the cake whilst the modelling paste is still relatively soft. This way you can mould it to the cake just a little bit better, but they will set lovely and hard. Again, using simple shapes, for Bing's feet, simply take a ball of white fondant, place it directly onto the drum, and just use your fingers and gently place it around the base of the creature creator feet. To make the giant button, I'm simply, simply using a round circle cutter. I've cut out some brown fondant that I used on the ears. I use some edible glue and stick this directly to the center of the body. Then using a cocktail stick, just again for an indentation for myself as I'm not confident using paintbrushes. I then place a cross directly in the center and this will be painted on just a little bit later on in this tutorial. Starting with a small round ball of brown fondant, I simply shape Bing's mouth directly onto the cake. Using another small ball of black fondant, I add a small buttoned nose and then taking a cocktail stick, simply draw a line directly down from the nose and draw a smiley face. This again will be painted over later on in this tutorial. Taking two small balls of white fondant, I add the base of the eyes. I then repeat that process but with black fondant for the pupil and add this directly to the centre of each eye. All I have done here is added two small white dots of fondant and to add the hair simply roll a small amount of fondant into a cone like shape and using a small amount of edible glue place this directly on top 
of Bing's head and placed into position. Finally, using that leftover black paint, I simply paint over the indentations on both the button and Bing's mouth. And there we have it, our finished gravity defying 3D Bing cake, zero cake carving. The internal supports, of your, as you have seen, are very easy to use and inexpensive. And I can't recommend these kits highly enough. Just let your imagination run wild. You can create so many different characters, different animals, anything your, where your imagination takes you. Happy baking, everyone. Thank you all for your continued support. It's much appreciated. And I'll be back soon with more new, completely free content.